sometimes being certain is perceived as an important characteristic. Being in a job, you definitely want to be certain that what you're doing is correct. But in interpersonal relationships, the way that we're using the word certainty isn't exactly the same. And so that connotation is different. The book or gib refers to two behaviors, certainty versus provisionalism. In certainty, we communicate that we are certain, just like a surgeon should be certain that this is the right way to correct a particular ailment or situation or disease. We oftentimes act as if we're surgeons in a conversation, but it just isn't that way. And even surgeons sometimes need to be open or provisional to having a plan, but being open to fixing it a different way because they may actually open someone up and see that inside there's another contributing factor that they didn't see through all the technology or even through a, a feeling, and therefore they need to go with the plan B. So having a plan B or being open to A through Z for plans leads more to a provisional viewpoint. Provisional does not refer to being wishy-washy or being uncertain in particular or necessarily passive. Provisional instead means being open to a number of interpretations. One example I can think of is recently we were discussing what we should serve for a large group of people. And I said, well, what about just sloppy joes? And a friend of mine said, made right. I'm like, no, we don't talk like that in Minnesota, that's Iowa. These are sloppy joes. Now, that's a humorous example of someone being certain that this is what it's called. It's a sloppy joe. But the point that we're making is that it can be named a number of different things, and it may taste exactly the same or slightly different based upon your regional or geographic or, or other characteristics. Of course, things can become much more personal and deeper when we think about being ethnocentric. We can joke between being from Iowa or Minnesota, and yet some people may take that very seriously. So probably an example that goes deeper is when perhaps we use a racist or maybe another type of ethnocentric remark that really can hurt somebody. So someone might say, well, this was Indian time, or this is African time, we're having our wedding American time. Now, comments like that show ethnocentric sense of, of being. And maybe it is 10 o'clock that we need to be there. In other cultures, however, showing up early would unnecessarily rush the host, would show perhaps an arrogance that I'm first and I'm the best. Whereas in the United States, or what we might call American time, being on time shows a sense of respect. I've personally seen this when we've traveled through Asia, or perhaps working with students specifically from different countries where this is the norm. What's most important is to keep an open mind when we're communicating to understand that there's a number of different ways that things can be solved, discussed, or thought about. Again, this does mean becoming wishy-washy or having any old standards it means instead being open to the possibility for difference.